Sandra Villahuel Abrego and you are watching another episode of ABA Wednesday. Over the past few months I've been getting a lot of questions and requests from you guys asking me about organization, time management, uh, planning your days, your weeks, your months and everything that has to do with uh, organizing and planning your life. Of course I am not an expert at time management or at organization but very very passionate about time management and organization I am very crazy if I can say like that about organizing everything in my life is organized uh, from my house to my ideas <laughs> to my weeks and my months and my years everything is planned everything is really really organized and I am pretty good at time management so today for the very first time I will make a video about how to be more productive and how to have more productive days if you like this video and if you want me to make more videos about this about you know organization time management how to be more productive and things like that well just let me know in the comments down below if you like it and if you have any suggestions on your site so today I'm gonna share with you six different tips or tricks however you want to call it that you can use in your life every day to have more productive days so if you want to have more productive days well this video is for you so let's begin the first tip that I have for you and this one is very important if you want to have more productive days see a lot of people when they think about productivity and being productive they're gonna try to do as much as possible during the day so they're gonna work hard and not work smart but it doesn't work like that what you have to do is you have to make sure that you always keep the long-term vision in mind and not the short-term vision. So if during the day you're spending your whole day responding to emails, replying to emails, uh, calling people, and just doing small things that yes, are important. They are important for your short-term vision, but they are not important for the long-term vision. It's not the things that are really, really gonna make you get to your goals and your dreams and make everything, uh, all your dreams become true. So it's really important that you always think, whenever you're doing something during the day, think, what is the purpose of this? Like, what is this gonna bring? You know, achieving this task or doing this task, what is it gonna bring in my life? You know, is it gonna be like something that maybe it's not that important or is it really gonna bring me closer to my dreams and my goals? Very important that whatever you do, ask yourself that question. What is the purpose of this thing, of me doing this thing? Very, very important. The second tip that I have for you is to always plan ahead. Plan ahead when it comes to your days, your weeks, your months, your years, everything should be planned ahead. Jim Rohn said it best, he said, you should never start your month before you finish it. What does this mean and what was he trying to say? Your month should never start before you finish planning it. So let's say in two weeks we're gonna be in October. You should, before the month of October begins, you should plan your month and know exactly what's gonna happen in that month, what are your goals for that month, what you're supposed to accomplish for that month. If you are in business, know exactly what your figures are, how much money you're supposed to make by the end of that month. You have to know exactly what the plans are. So it's the same thing for your days. You know, my days, I always, always plan them the day before. Before I go to bed, I plan my day. Because if, if I don't, what I'm gonna do is at the beginning of my day, I'm gonna waste 15 to 20 minutes planning my days. 15 to 20 minutes is a lot of time. People don't know how to value time. Same thing for my weeks. My weeks, I plan them on Sunday night. So my whole week is already planned. I know exactly what's the goal at the end of my week, what I have to have accomplished by the end of the week. So always plan ahead. Another tip that I have for you that will help you to be more productive is to always know exactly how much time each task takes you. And this goes from the, the work that you do to doing the laundry, to cleaning your dishes. If you really wanna be someone productive, you're gonna have to know exactly how much each thing is gonna take you, especially if you're busy, especially if you have a lot of things that you have to do, if you have a busy schedule, you have a demanding job, well, you have to know exactly how much each thing takes. If you ask me how much time it takes me to do the dishes, I will tell you. If you ask me how much time it takes me to cook, I will tell you exactly how much time and I will make sure that that's the time that it takes. Now, I'm kind of crazy and I exaggerate when it comes to organizing and planning. You don't need to be exactly like that, but at least know how much each task 
at least in your work takes you. So if let's say you are a blogger, you're a blogger and you write a blog every week, well you have to know how much time it takes you to write that blog. Does it take you an hour, two hours, three hours? So that when you schedule it in your agenda, you know exactly how much time it takes, from what time to what time you're gonna be doing that. The best way to know how much time each task takes you to do is to simply time it. So take a timer, time how much time it takes, and then for the following weeks or months, you're gonna know how you can properly schedule it into your agenda. Another tip, and this one is so obvious, but so many people don't practice it, is simply start your day earlier. As simple as that. You see, nowadays people always complain about, I don't have enough time, I'm running out of time, there's too many things to do in a day, not enough hours. But people sleep until like 10 o'clock. It's not normal. You have to start your day earlier. If you're a busy person and you have a lot of things to do in a day, start your day earlier. As simple as that. Because if you do, you're just going to have more hours during the day, which will obviously make it a more productive day. The fifth tip that I have for you is to take breaks every 45 minutes. A lot of researches have been conducted when it comes to this and it has been proven and shown that human beings, we have the capacity to focus on one thing for only 45 minutes. After 45 minutes, we start losing focus, we start getting distracted, we think about other things. So the best thing to do really is to take a little break, five to 10 minutes every 45 minutes so that you start off fresh after that for another 45 minutes. And finally, the last tip that I have for you, and this one is a difficult one, it's to not get interrupted. It's easier said than done because the times that we live in, there's so many distractions around us. There's our phone, emails, uh, there's social media, there's so many little distractions around us. So the best thing to do if, of course, only if you wanna have productive days is maybe to turn off your phone, to uh, close your emails, whether it's Outlook or iMail, to simply uh, shut off all of the technology so that you can focus on the big tasks, especially if you're working on a long-term vision task. You know, you really want to take the time to focus. You really want to give it your all. You want to be productive. And if, let's say, you have a timeline, well, you really, really have to uh, do your best in order to make it. So you're going to have to maybe turn off your phone, turn off technology, and everything. So I really hope that this video helped you to be more productive and to have more productive days. Like I said, if you like the video and if you want me to do more videos about productivity and uh, time management and organization and all of that, I'm really passionate about these things, but I don't know if you want me to talk about these things. So uh, just let me know in the comments down below and I will be glad to make more videos about this. If you like, don't forget to like, don't forget to share with all of your friends. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every single Wednesday. You can also, of course, go on my website, alexandrofilawel.com, and subscribe to my email list to receive free emails from me every single week. That is it for today. My name is Alexandra Filawel-Abrego, and I'll see you next time.